Tonight, we know the identity of the woman killed in a murder-suicide that has shut down North Lake College in Irving. 20-year-old Janira Gonzalez was a student there. Andrea Lucia spoke to her parents just a little while ago. And Andrea, what are they telling you? Yeah, they still don't believe it. They spent hours here today searching for her, showing police pictures of her. But they say it wasn't until around 5 o'clock this evening they learned that she was dead. And they say the man responsible was her stalker. The best daughter any mother could have. The best girl. The best. The best of everything. And not because she's my daughter, but because that's the type of person she was. This picture Janira Gonzalez posted just this morning is the last image family have of her. Her parents say she had no relationship to the suspect, 21 year old Adrian Torres, but that he seemed to believe otherwise, claiming at times to be her boyfriend. Despite what they describe as odd behavior, they say their daughter dismissed it. Police say Gonzalez was in a study room this morning when Torres approached her. Her parents say officers told them he yelled, you know who I am and you know why I'm here, then shot her three times. They did say there was a nurse that came right to her aid right away, but that she was gone right away. According to police, they said the, to police. They, he, the guy also left a note for her, his parents. A suicide note a suicide saying note. that some girl had hurt him. I guess he was referring to my daughter, but left no names. And then he was in love with her, and then he, he felt hurt by her, so he was going to, like, uh, kill her and kill himself. And the parents never actually called the police. Well, police initially responded out here to reports of an active shooter. They evacuated this entire campus and later found Torres uh, dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot inside a locker room shower. No other students here were injured. Uh, this campus, though, will remain closed until Monday. Those students that dropped cell phones, laptops, and wallets when they were told to walk out of these buildings with nothing in their hands, they will be allowed back with the police escort sometime tomorrow to retrieve those belongings. Reporting live here, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.